Hey guys, um, I'm going to be doing a game review uh, collection, and this is my first game review um, stuff. And um, today, um, it's going to be a Saints Row um, collection, so it's going to be the first one, second one, third one, and the fourth one. So, um, as you all know, and um, I'm going to be like like saying my opinion on these games and showing you like the actual covers and see how different they've changed over the years so yeah hope you enjoy here's Saint Row 1 I've got it on Xbox um, it's really fun it's gangster honestly it's brilliant most of you Quite a few people have done like reviews on um, this game already, but um, I would just like to just do like more reviews so people can watch. But yeah, um, these like the like the characters of the game and and stuff. There's like this is the city background of Stillwater and the tiles Saint Saint Row. The X, it's an Xbox game. Um, most of my games, like the three and fourth one, are uh, PS3 ones and stuff. So as you can see, it's been made by it's T it says THQ on the bottom and Volition. Um, Volition. It's an it's an 18. Um, I don't actually play this. I just want to make more videos like. But my my brother plays this, um, my big brother. So yeah. Moving on to, actually, sorry, um, is the back. Lynn is on like the middle bit. So yeah, Saints Row One, Xbox. Um, Saints Row Two. Um, these are really brilliant in my opinion. Um, they're both Saints Row 1 and 2 were the greatest ones because a few people have seen like Saints Row 3 and 4 was like not bad and stuff. Some of them were saying like the gangsters not it's not gangster at all but Saints Row 1 and 2 were quite gangster and it's really cool so I recommend this if none of you have got it and you've always wanted it. I highly recommend this. So here's the um, side of it, Saints Row 2. It's made by Volition Inc. Same as Monster I'm going to be reviewing in THQ. The back, free your inner sinner, what if it is said that? So yeah, Johnny getting the cat customizable char the character. Um. The disc it should come with. Oh, um, I can't show you the Xbox One. Sorry, because it's a bit of a mess. Um, sorry. And then Saints Row 3 came out in um, like 2011 or 12, I think so. So comment if I'm right or not. But yeah, so um, to me, Saints Row 3 were quite a bit of a disappointment because Central 1 and 2 were great because um, it was a lot more gangster but in my opinion this ain't but it's quite fun dressing up as like cool characters and you're like famous and stuff but yeah and all that but like you, sometimes like you just want it to be like gangster and stuff so is the inside There's the disc, there's the, like the book, and it comes with like a online pass and stuff. So the back, the side, Central Third, PS3. Um, and then Central Four came out in 2013. To be honest, I really liked this one because this is fun. 
but like once you've done the missions there's no to do but if you go to downloadable content there's lots of quite lots of fun stuff and everything Cause if you get the season pass you can get how the saints save christmas and um enter the dominatrix and quite a few weapons and cars so i highly recommend this is this is quite better than saint shroford but it's quite good so here's the side saint shroford ps3 and here's the back the boss um the boss and some aliens and weapons and stuff um the front like with the president suit and saint row 4 commander in chief edition i got the pre-order one so it comes with like a an online pass a, and the code with screaming eagle but i can't show you the code actually i may as well because i've already used it so you weren't able to do it anyway but as you can see, there's no disc because um, it's in my PS3 right now because I was I were playing it um, a minute ago. So yeah, and that includes my Saints Row Saints Row game collection. I hope you enjoy. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Have a great day.